for rant mm-hmm. segment. The uh, Gabriel Maestro, who was supposed to be in the Olympics, got yeah. a sheer gift over Mike Fox. <laughs> and this is why this pisses me off. This kid took the fight on a week's notice. He dropped him. He outboxed him. And then he did everything. This guy tampered with his gloves, it looked like. Now, we could say that maybe he wasn't. But if everything went wrong with this guy, Maestro, he's the most unlucky guy ever. He was unluckily hitting this guy in the back towards the kidney. His gloves were unluckily unmarked by the commission, it seemed like. Unluckily raised high so the knuckle would be more exposed. Gets a gift decision where the WBA's office is based out of the same country he's from. Why do we even hold boxing matches if we're just going to crown someone not based off of the competition themselves? It's a shame Michael Fox got treated this poorly. I'm sorry I'm getting mad. I didn't mean to get mad early on in this mm-hmm. show towards you. But this pisses me off because this is someone's life. And this is the problem, isn't it? As much as we all sit here and we're all... Go- and I- I've not seen the fight. I-, I watched the UFC last night. I watched the Olympics. I haven't caught up any of the fight. I've just seen what I've seen on Twitter. Um, but this is the problem. As much as we're all going to sit here and say, yeah, it's a robbery. And, you know, I think I've seen tweets from... I think I might have seen a tweet from the WBA themselves uh, suggesting that it was a-, a bad decision. But at the end of the day, yeah, he's not going to hold the title belt and he's not going to get the purses that are going to come with that. And Maestri, who, yeah, like you say, should have been in the Olympics, um, is is going to be the one who who benefits. And, and Michael Fox is going to be sat at home going, oh, I should have I should have had it. And I thought I had it and I deserved it. But um, unfortunately, it's a, it's a cruel, cruel game in that sense. Well, and credit to Corey Erdman and Boxrec Gray, the judge, Gloria, who gave the 117-110 card, which is egregious, is saying racist things on I've Twitter. Yeah, she's she's subscribing to conspiracy theories i'm not going to get into any of the political beliefs she holds i'm just going to say maybe as a sanctioning body you might want to make sure that she has an outstanding track record or you vet someone in a in a fight like this that holds a lot of significant importance it it seems like she was put in a position to fail basically well, it, it's just a background check. I, I just see, I just seem that anyone, you know, especially competent, supposedly, or uh, boxing organisations, can manage a comp, uh, can manage a background check on on judges and and referees, and yeah, it's uh, it's it's all a bit of a shambles, really. But I think boxing, more than any other sport, and you know, I'm a big fan of lots of sports. It it, it has a way of making itself look a shambles more than any other sport I can think of, unfortunately. And this is just another example. Not only does it get the decision wrong, not only does it have that, it also has this come out where the judge is tweeting inflammatory and, and racist and, and political remarks. And it's just not what the sport needs, really. After <laughs> such a great week of, well, great couple of weeks of, of Olympic boxing, and, and it's and kind of almost gone backwards. Thank you for the segue because I was so bummed <laughs> out and now I had to make eye contact with you. I'm talking to my camera. I got to get a projector so I can see your face in my <laughs> studio. But let's start with, do we start with the glamour divisions or we just start top to bottom, bottom to top? Where do we start? How are we going to do this? I'm happy to take your lead on it. Um, super heavyweight. I, I will, we'll, we'll start at yeah. super heavyweight. It's a very boring division. There were only about four guys, in my opinion, that I saw going anywhere. We had yeah. Fraser Clark, who I felt like really overachieved in this tournament. We had Jolyev, who I thought fought one of the most boring, uneventful tournaments. And I think he's going to be a sketchy pro. Like he's going to be a highly touted pro that could have that oddly Harrison type 